back to Brian drinks a glass of scotch. <laughs> scotch and Flox has audio this time. Yay! <laughs> Oh, boy. So, y'all missed it, but we kidnapped Anton Sukulov. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, may or may not have this episode. I was thinking I might go back in post-production and, uh, <laughs> just, just can a recording yeah, in. Just <laughs> added, like, like a like, can. Oh, like, Brian, track. what? Tell us about Cheetos. <laughs> and I'll be like, I ate them with chopsticks. <laughs> right, I just had, like, a canned, uh, a studio audience laughter or something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. The good news is we we totally skipped over Mari's flight story. Oh. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> my flight story. Oh yes, I know it well. Uh, I was there, you see. <laughs> I was there. <laughs> I did the flight. Um, let's see. I guess I'll start at the beginning on the way there to Ohio. There you go. Um. I got there at the airport at like 2 p.m. and went through customs fine. Right. Didn't have any problems with customs and then got to sit next to my gate for about like four hours. Right. <laughs> Which was exciting. <laughs> <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Then got on the plane to discover that what well, I thought that yeah no knee space. And I got the aisle seat to try to, to save, like, to try to get that aisle knee space. Right. Mm -hmm. But that also just so meant that any time... by it, the cart. That just, yeah. <laughs> that, that meant that any time anybody went past, I had to pull my, tuck my knee in. And if, if the two people next to me wanted to get out, I also had to get up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. So that was great. And then that flight was only about, like, 40 minutes. Because I flew over to another city in Texas, because that 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 city had a, uh, had a major international airport, and from there I got to spend like another hour there, and then, actually no no I didn't spend I guess spend an hour there because my plane was late, I spent like twenty minutes there, and the entire twenty minutes I was on a tram. That was slowly going across around the entire airport, and I nearly missed my plane. <laughs> because the tram that went the right direction was broken down. So instead of going the right direction, which was one stop over, I had to go all the way around the airport. <laughs> and so I was in a tram crammed in with, like, 20 other people who were like, Oh yeah, we're also nearly late for our planes because this tram is broken. Right. <laughs> Tram always seems it's, like a great idea, and then it fucking breaks down. It's like, oh, good. <laughs> and so, we're all sitting here talking about, man, we're all going to be late for our planes. <laughs> and we get off at the right stop, and, like, <laughs> the three people, like, because this airport had, like, a whole bunch of different gates. And so, at my gate, only actually, like, six people had to get off. And so we all get off and start running for the plane. And I think they, I'm pretty sure they held, like, they held the plane. Because they realized, oh, we're missing, like, ten passengers. <laughs> because the plane was supposed to take off, like, ten minutes after I got there. Right. So, if they were had been on time, they would have already left the gate. Makes sense. But, but whatever, I got onto that plane, got even less knee space, <laughs> and then had to sit on that plane for the three-hour flight, I think? Where I tried I'm on to the edge of my seat. I tried to sleep, <laughs> and my neck immediately broke, basically, and my neck was like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And I got bashed once by the by the cart <laughs> on that plane. <laughs> yep. And then I finally got there at like 10 p.m. Super tired after spending the entire day on planes, but. The way back was worse. Because me and my infinite wisdom, I decided to buy an entire bass guitar in Ohio. You know, I'm glad you sprang for the whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> Instead Not of getting it in pieces, I, w I got an entire bass strings. guitar. Wow, they sounded... <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, and I also got out. I also got a hard case, so Buy it took room. up even more space. And yeah. so I had a like upgrades. Yeah. This case is about like upgrades. four feet long, and like <laughs> upgrades, 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 and like a foot and a half. You wide. didn't click on upgrades. Oh, no. You could have upgraded your gear. It was a tab. Piero Joplin, Ow. tell us about Mari's flight some more. <laughs> no, he's busy. No, character's busy. No, he got to Ohio, there so he went to Coaster Kingdom. <laughs> oh, then, did you actually go to Coaster Kingdom? Coaster Kingdom, no. Where is oh, Coaster God. Kingdom in Ohio? Point Erie. Do not know where that is. <laughs> it's uh, on Lake Erie. The Great Lake. The greatest of lakes, they say. I only know where, like... Where the Great Lakes are? No, no, be quiet. I know where the Great Lakes are. <laughs> oh, I'm being shush. I'm, oh. trying, to, I'm trying to figure out where story. I was compared to Coaster Kingdom. <laughs> Ohio's a big square of a state, so it's, it's hard to gauge. This is true. Like, I knew... You, you'd think, based on national interest, it would only be like a 45-minute drive to cross that state. But it's you've not. been wrong. It's not. <laughs> There's a lot of, a whole lot of some Cleveland, and then Coaster Kingdom. That's like it. Yeah. Just like West Virginia only has the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Mothman Museum. Yeah, we're but in. There's a lot of other stuff. I went to Parma, which is basically a suburb of Cleveland. Did they have ham? Ham. <laughs> it's a ham Parma. joke. Flock's got it. That was. For yeah, him. I got it. <laughs> Parma okay. ham is a thing. <laughs> My brother in meat. They had a lot of fish. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't know if I'd trust landlocked fish. Well, it would just <laughs> be like fish. farm raised, yeah. yeah. I guess like the, the salmon. The, the and they salmon. also had um, we went to a traditional German food place, which is weird to me <laughs> because the traditional Ohio Germans. Because yeah, I live in Fluggerville, Texas, which is a. <laughs> Which is a that German, awesome. which is a German city in Texas. Doesn't it sound made up? <laughs> Be quiet! No, no, it sa <laughs> sounds <laughs> German as hell. I mean, we've got them too with I the ironically named Pennsylvania Dutch. Because <laughs> they actually were the Pennsylvania Deutsch because they were all Germans. And they're like, we just want to have mule carts and a simple life. And everyone thinks we're Dutch for some reason. <laughs> but like there is yeah, not a sucks. German food place in Flickerville, Texas at all. There's not. <laughs> That's disappointing. Really? But then I go to Pharma, Ohio, which has no German history <laughs> and yep, here it is. <laughs> Traditional German food. That cat's biting my foot. Just let me hold my foot in your face. Don't, don't bite it. No, just, let, just take it. No, Ow. no, I will bite it and show you. Khajiit plays no She's looking at me like, bring it back. <laughs> like, I was playing with that. But yeah, on the way back, I had, I now had a base, which is basically another person. <laughs> yeah. Oh. You just had to carry on the first lap. plane, it fit in the overhead. Like, I had like an inch to spare. <laughs> Right. Well, that's convenient. And I had actually you would not have gotten the whole base if you checked it. The first plane was actually the, the biggest plane I had gotten since in all these flights. And so I had and I I I shoved I shoved in the overhead and had a nice three hour plane ride back to Texas to Dallas. And then in Dallas I had to run across the airport again. Right. Now carrying like a twenty pound bass guitar. That's <laughs> awkwardly shaped. <laughs> a whole one. You didn't oh get yeah, like whole a, bass guitar. A regular rectangle fucking uh, case or something for it? Yeah. A, a like rectangle a hard case. Hard case. <laughs> Basically using it to shove people out of my way. <laughs> Hell yeah. Get out of my way, I have a plane to catch for D and D. And then it's true. <laughs> I get to the gate, and they're like, "We're not letting you take this case on the plane. You're not even gonna get to feel like get to try to put it in the overhead." What? And How so I had to, I had to trust that it wouldn't get damaged in the plane in the, the luggage compartment. That's kind of interesting because I wouldn't really expect planes to like be all full again already. You know, every oh single fly I had was full. That's crazy. Yeah. 
Like yeah, you got to remember, people were barely staying in for the pandemic when it was in full tilt, killing everyone. <laughs> people were still like, "I have a right to go out and see." <laughs> like yeah. you know, my grandmother, who also is the, has corona officially, and we know this, but I'm gonna go see her. Yep. And we're gonna yep. Uh, me and my 500 cousins, <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna carry it back to all the cities that we live in across the country and spread the pandemic. It's a motorcycle convention. Like, I remember on one of my <laughs> on flights... On an airplane. <laughs> on one of my flights, someone actually, like, ran up to the plane and uh, ran up to the gate and bought a ticket there. <laughs> that was an option? Yeah, you can you can go and... If they have extra seats, you can just buy the tickets at the gate. Well, shit. Which is weird to me, but... Yeah. Yeah. That sounds like chaos. And... That one seat he bought happened to be the middle seat in my row. So what would have been some nice extra leg space for me was taken away in front of my eyes. <laughs> taken away in front of my eyes. <laughs> and he was also, he didn't have a mask. He had oh my a, god, what is that? A walker. It's a big old little sort of. chicken. It's a big walker thing. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. You don't have one? No, not yet, but maybe one day. Oh boy. The guy didn't <laughs> have a mask. Live in 2021, wrong. He had a... um bandana Clear. on and so they had to tell him to get they gave him a real mask oh. and then as soon as he got into his seat he immediately switched back to his bandana oh yeah and then I've been using one but in my defense I'm fully vaccinated and then he spent like the first part of playing talking very loudly and playing games with his friends and then he then decided that his his back was apparently way more flexible than I thought, and he just laid in his own lap. I was like, "How are you doing this? I wish I had this power." <laughs> what? I was like, "Haha, you haven't gotten how your you rib in taken your own out." Lap? Yeah, like, right? he basically folded over. Like, I don't know how he was able to fold over so well, but he did. Small people things. You don't need <laughs> all of those ribs. I mean, Marilyn Manson taught us that. I guess so. I mean, I wonder, you know. How many bones you could go without? Ah! <laughs> These rats will help us find them. Right, thank you. Wow. <laughs> One, two, a third. Ah, yes. The bone rats. Three bones. The, the bone. adult human skeletons may have a 206 yeah. bones. Yeah, there's probably a lot you can go without. Yeah, I mean, you can cut, like, most of your fingers off and be fine. So that's, that's like, 30 bones right there. You could, be, you could become a nugget and still survive. A nugget? Yes. What is that? No arms, no legs. Wow, that sounds so offensive, Maury. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, it might be an identity movement. Is that identity a big chicken movement. shooting rocket? Yeah, it's coming for me. I use the term, but <laughs> what the term really is used for is in like video games that have this measurement where you're able to cut everybody's arms and legs off. See, we had, that they have sense. that in RimWorld that I've been playing a lot of. And apparently, there's a thing called a psychic potato, where you get somebody that's like pissing you off in your colony. And you cut both their arms and legs off, so they're just a like stump person. And then you put this thing called joy wire into their brain, which this like makes them constantly happy all the time. And then a psychic emanator, which projects their happiness field into like the outside world. So it's like if you have prisoners that are giving you a problem, you just plant your happiness potato like right outside your prison and let it <laughs> emanate happiness waves to your prisoners. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I do that. Yeah, it's oh amazing. My God. It's quite to amazing. All my my fun prisoner friends. All my fun prisoner friends. <laughs> How are you doing, Flux? They let you out yet? No. <laughs> uh oh. And they won't. No. Oh god, more rats! No! <laughs> Man, now I want chicken nuggies. I'm still stuck on <laughs> the math for how many bones you, you can actually survive without. Uh, yeah, it's probably an appallingly low number. I mean, you probably need, like, an ornithologist so you can... Oh wait, that's birds. So you well, like, crunch if, you, if you just get rid of the arms and legs, that's already 120 <laughs> bones. Yeah, that wouldn't be too bad. That, that, that would narrow it down quite a bit. You could probably like pop how, a, you how get, much of get rid like, of a few ribs right there. So like, like a, next a year. sock filled with cotton balls can I be reduced to? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, 130 bones is a third. Or no, that's like half half your bones, right? You said it was 200 and some or 300 and some? Yeah, we have like 206. 
Yeah, so a goodly number. That's half your bones, right? So there. yeah, just losing arms and like legs, a... you've already lost half your bones. Like I told my uh, my uh, oh, what was it? My uh, advisor in college. I want to be as useless as possible. In life. <laughs> I feel like I owe it to everyone. <laughs> Most of your if bones I could have graduated are in your undeclared, hands and I would feet. have. And you also have a lot of bones in your skull, too. Give that man some whale oil. Oh, he's just some hobo. Frightened by light. He's got rabies. I'm going to take, take his, his money. wallet. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> this poor man, he's suffering. But here, I'll, I'll give him a way out if he so chooses. There you go. <laughs> Have fun, good How sir. disturbed would you be if you actually took it, took that and like just punched it <laughs> right in front of you? Started running into somebody. Like, ah, suicide. <laughs> it's so weird to me that the human skull is actually a bunch of different bones. Yeah, so they could all mishmash together and get out of the birth canal. Imagine if you had a solid skull trying to like squeeze out of a cervix. Oh, man, yeah. That would be impossible. Yeah, it, the human the skull is, right. is made of 29 different bones. How awesome would this year have been if the 90s had gotten everything right? We'd all have shoulder pads and bangs right now. <laughs> <laughs> We'd also have way cooler tech. <laughs> would we, though? I think, <laughs> I think 90s future seashells. tech is cool, all right? <laughs> Blessed be Demolition Man. Oh, uh, what a great movie. That movie was too good for the world. It shouldn't exist. Like, that, that's one of those movies that, like, if you went back and were like, how the fuck did these people get money? Oh my god, Demolition this? Man. I was like, I was, I, was, I was thinking, like, I've watched this, haven't I? I have. Thinking. Yes, I have. <laughs> oh, Dude, they... it, it's worth a watch night if people still watched movies together. And not in a, alone in a dark room screaming. You see, Taco Bell was the only uh, restaurant to survive. They the, won the franchise the wars. Restaurant wars. <laughs> so all restaurants are Taco Bell now. <laughs> this is a, a, a five star, a five bell establishment. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how to use the three seashells? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> that was the most realistic thing I think I ever saw about a post futuristic movie. But they didn't have toilet paper, and instead, there were just three fucking seashells, and no one would explain how to use them, because it was so ubiquitous I was, and so silly. I was just thinking about that the other day, whilst uh, meditating on my porcelain throne, and I was like, I wonder how you would use those three seashells. <laughs> it's probably like a hand bidet. Ooh. That's what I would do. I feel like mm. people already go through that nowadays when it comes to like going to... like. A friend's house and looking at their shower. <laughs> They're like, why is there just a hole in the bottom of the shower? It's like, I like to save time. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I remember I had a hotel where there was like five different knobs and I was so confused. <laughs> That's a bidet, my dude. That's for In the shower? In, in the juice. shower? <laughs> Uh, it might be like a soap dispenser and stuff. You should. Did you not play with the knobs? I would have played with all the. Knobs. I think. A, I think yeah, it was didn't... like it was. A, it was something to do with like different levels of cold and pressure and crap. I don't think that's how faucets work. This is true. All I'm I know sure is that just, once I, I, out I hot, out comes cold. I, I had my. I figured out which ones to turn to get what I wanted, and then I ignored the rest of them. Steal her ticket. Get that ticket. But like there are also showers that have like they'll have like a detachable head, so you'll have a knob for that head normally too. Boy, do I love detachable heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, I I I looked it up just to see if I could find it. Because I feel like that's not something that's common, and I found a shower that has seven knobs, and it's like it's it, Tell it, me what each knob is. It looks like a car <laughs> wash a car wash for the human body. <laughs> you just stand there with your arms out of the T pose. I'm going to let me let me put this in the um, oh my god yes in in our chat. Ugh. I'll let you look at this car wash oh. for the human body. I'm all out of scotch. Uh, oh yeah, the front knobs in the here you go. There's the human car wash. Human car wash. You know, when you say human car wash, that is not where my mind goes. <laughs> you think of the walk and wash at the end of the movie. 
I was thinking of a human car. <laughs> but like, it has like, like, this seems like it would be such a waste of water. <gasps> Welcome to the party. Next time on Leftover Gaming, we'll find out what really happens. <laughs> party animals washing cars. Bye, everybody. <laughs>